Opinions and stories around the game we love told by your favorite storytellers. Stay up to date with all things cricket. Subscribe to Crick Boss's YouTube channel and press that bell icon now. Dinesh, let's talk about uh, Joss Butler's form today. Jeez, I mean, some of the shots that he's hit, right? I mean, it didn't matter what the length was. It didn't matter what the line was. He had decided to hit it. He was going to hit it. And he did hit it. <laughs> yeah, uh, there's quite a few sights to watch. And Josh, Josh Butler in full form is an absolute treat to watch because he can hit it to all parts of the ground, literally all parts of the ground. From the left shoulder of the keeper to the right shoulder of the keeper, he can go a full circle and he'll hit you anywhere he wants. And he's a great guy uh, off the field as well. It's so nice to see him perform to the level that he's performing. A small break post the India Test Series for him to come back. He just looks in good nick. He just looks in good space. Some of the shots that he played, he's got a flat batted swing as well. So the bounce is good more often than not. If it hits the center of the bat, it goes a long, long way. And you saw that 102 meters six. Jeez, what a shot that was. Yeah, really. I mean, there's so many to pick there, right, Michael? I mean, he was just in some kind of bizarre form today. It's the hands. It's just how quickly the hands go through. Just make it look so effortless. The timing is immaculate. It's it's brilliant batting. Yeah, it's like all great players when when, when they, they have their zone um, and they have their moment out in the middle where everything just looks so easy. It, it's because they assess what the bowler is going to do early. Um, they see it before it's come out of their hand where the ball's going to be. They've just got a, a cue from the bowlers run up the action. Um, you know, I've seen it in Test cricket with Steve Smith over the years in, in terms of the last couple of Ashes series. In so much time, he's almost assessing the ball before it's released from out of the hand, and, and that's what Butler can do. He can see the field, he can see something with the bowler, he can see something with the action, and before it's released, he knows it's going to be in a certain zone. He gets himself in an early position. And what he tries to do with those sixes, I've spoken to him a lot about hitting the sixes. And, you know, when I used to try and hit a six, I didn't hit men. I used to think you go high, you know, just trying yeah. to get it in the air. Flat, well, he tries yeah. to hit it flat. You know, he keeps his head down like a golf shot and he just tries to hit it flat. And he knows if he does that, it will, it will get some elevation, it will get some rise. But he tries to hit sixes as hard as he can flat. Um, not many do that. Uh, I guess MS Dhoni's done it for, for quite a while, but there's not many in the game of hit flat sixes like Joss Butler. And as I said before, when you get Butler in that kind of form and mood, mm. you just can't stop him. You just hope that he misses one, he puts one in the air or someone takes a flying catch. But, you know, you just know that uh, when he gets into that zone, very difficult Dinesh, to stop. you know, you, you can't understand it because it seems almost counterintuitive because he doesn't look like Iron Man, right? He doesn't look like the biggest bull, you know, in the China shop in terms of the way he's built. So it seems counterintuitive that you'd want to hit flat sixes, right? I mean, you when Russell does it, you understand. When Dhoni does it, you understand. I can't, I can't understand it. If you can just throw some light on it, it's just, just the brilliance of how he just gets that done when it seems <clears throat> just so counterintuitive. So there are two types of hitting here, Goro. One is power hitting, and then one is swing of the bat. So a lot of yeah. players, touch players, use the swing of the bat, which is a lot straighter. Let's say as an example, a bit like a golf swing. The swing of the bat, you know, if you remember the Brian Laras, these people had a swing of the bat. So if it came down in their downswing and on the way up, the ball used to go. Now, what Josh Butler does is called power hitting. So he takes his left leg out of the way, uncoils. So basically, he's got a coil. From there, he uncoils a bit like a boxer when you're standing in this position and you go bang. The power that you get is, you know, in many ways, that's what that hitting is. So he uncoils the hip and that gives the power in getting that shot. If you closely notice the two shots of Mitchell Stark, he sets himself up, removes his left leg out of the way and then uncoils and at the point of impact, opens it up and it goes a distance. The distance comes not from the arms, not from the biceps, but mm. from the core coiling and uncoiling. So it's basically, okay. that's what power hitting is about. Using the ground forces to execute, get into a strong position, use the core to uncoil at the right point and then the ball travels a lot further than what you can do with your biceps.